Hey guys, tracking it. These are the inner front fender wells off of my 79 Trans Am. That was not sanded by hand. What I did was, I saw another video on YouTube about making a media blaster out of a spray gun. As you can see, it's just notched. You gotta kind of be careful with it though, because it does uh, bend if you don't get it right. And it's through a 16 ounce bottle that I, well, that one of my daughters drank. All I did was drill a hole through the bottle and then you gotta take that little extra security band off of there as well. Drill a hole through the bottle, put it all the way in, make it so that the hole is about dead even. That way when you turn the bottle upside down, it feeds right into the spray gun and blows right out the end of it. And what you're looking at are the results from that. which I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. That's what it looks like from being sprayed. Yes, there are a few areas where it uh, didn't get, but I am using the fine uh, walnut media from Harbor Freight, not, uh, not the coarse, because I don't want to thrash the metal. And then that area right there, all I did was hit it with a little bit of, uh, I think it's 130 grit, just regular everyday sandpaper and cleaned it up rather nicely because that was all rusted out underneath there. Now, the fine grit will not take away rust. I did figure that out. So you'd have to go to the course for that. But for just removing paint, that is probably the original factory paint, I would guess. It does a real good job. The other thing is this one here. It's a lower door hinge that I picked up at a junkyard. And as you can tell, it's pretty well pitted. I did hit it a little bit, so it was uh, repainted at one point, so it was red underneath. And uh, it was starting to at least get it all out of there anyway. Just taking a little bit longer. That probably would require the coarser grit. Now, this spray gun here, like I said, I got it at Harbor Freight. It came as a kit, one long post and one short post. And then, oh, before I do that, something to keep in mind. If you go with this DG10 or whatever it is, this part right here is actually male. So you have to get a fe double female adapter and then get the lower end that'll fit in the, uh, for the male end that'll fit into your hose. Now, as for pressure wise, and excuse my mess, I have it set to around 100, give or take, is where I've got the pressure at. And it just continuously runs the whole time I'm doing this. Um, anyway, that's pretty much about it. So, yeah, I get a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight. Hey, it's cheap and it works. That's all that matters, right? It is raining out here. Lovely Maryland. But luckily, I have this nice 10 by 20 tent, which kind of helps out a little bit, although I'm not underneath the tent when I'm doing this because I don't want this stuff all over the place since i got to crawl around on the ground underneath the car once I finally get it under here. So, that being said, um, I don't know. Let me see if I can uh, do this without completely thrashing myself here. I don't know. Just so you've got an idea of what it looks like. the compressor but you can see that it removes the paint really well which in turn will save me a lot of sanding and a lot of money on sand, sand paper oh the media all it is is a fine walnut from Harbor Freight with the 20% off coupon, cost me about 18 bucks for a 25 pound bag of it. Now, unfortunately, I am gonna have this stuff all over the place. Oops, sorry about that. This stuff is gonna be all over the place, but out here, I guess it's not that big of a deal. 
can tell it's kind of all over the place back there as well. So, anyway guys, that was it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Go ahead and like it, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Otherwise, good luck on your projects, and see you again soon.